the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of attack on titan finally it's sunday and i got to watch the new episode we are on episode four of season four the final season part two and uh the the last episode was insane to say the least so we're having a war we're fighting and i think the war is done because gabby i think she took it when she killed sasha she must have took a little page from sasha's book because sasha was our sniper gabby took the 50 cal or whatever caliber that gun was probably a thousand caliber aimed had her in it had aaron in her sights and freaking not even headshot she neck shot at him his whole head fell off dude what the fuck <laughs> i was not prepared for that because he's the protagonist you know you you assume plot armor and they're not supposed to die he didn't die because before you know uh, when you I, I, I mean i don't know the science about this but i have heard in a movie or something somewhere i may have read it somewhere if your head get if, if you know if, if you're if your head gets chopped off you're still like alive because you know your your, your, your stuff is still beating so you're technically still alive okay uh, and because of that uh when uh when zeke caught aaron's <laughs> beheaded head the power activated okay and that's all they needed to do all they needed to do was to touch each other through a handshake or a fist bump whatever in this case he caught aaron's flo flying off head <laughs> and it activated the power of the founding titan and then we got <laughs> We got sent to a familiar place, a place where we first saw Ymir, not the founder of Ymir, the Ymir that used to have the jaw titan. Okay, she got sent there. I think she was reborn, some shit like that. Okay, and this place is called the Coordinate, where it all started, right? And this is where the founding titan's powers are, or how to access them. And uh, apparently Zeke has been here for a very long time after the whole incident. They didn't say how many years, but he did grow a lot of, he did grow, his hair was short, now it was long. He didn't have much facial hair, now he has a bunch. So it was probably years, I want to say, in there, just waiting for Aaron to, because, uh, I mean, Aaron almost died, but because of the Founding Titan's power, which is pretty much... The power of god i think in my eyes they were able to resurrect aaron but i had to take some time um but zeke you know he outplayed us a little bit he 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 acted like he was a prisoner of that world until aaron was resurrected because aaron was the one who was the only one that could use the founding titan's power uh, when in actuality those were fake chains and he just wanted to see what aaron's true intentions were which thank god aaron's true intentions were there's no way that i'm going through with the euthanasia plan because it's fucking stupid that's his words so i'm glad he said that so that makes me think okay he's got another plan in mind he hasn't said it out loud but i'm glad he does have some other motive because i mean i was not for the euthanasia plan but at the same time i could not myself come up with a better uh solution you know what i mean Obviously, the best solution would be would be if everyone becomes buddy buddy, but that's that's like impossible, even in the real world. So that's not gonna happen. Okay, we have to we have to think realistically. So I couldn't think of a realistic solution to end all of this shit. All right. So that was the only reason why I was low key riding with the euthanasia plan because we didn't have any other way, any other peaceful way. You know, they wanted to remove the reproductive organs of all the Eldians so they can't reproduce and had just have them die naturally. All right. Of course, the aliens would not like this because it's technically genocide, you know, just in a peaceful manner. I don't know. Question mark, question mark. <laughs> but um, that was their plan, essentially. So I'm very glad Aaron said, fuck that. Or, you know, had hit in his mind the whole time that he didn't want to do that. Unfortunately, Zeke outplayed us. And now Zeke is about to do the plan. He did the Itachi forehead touch with Aaron. Brother to brother. Mm-hmm. I, I gotta think a part of me uh, 
thinks they took a little bit of that from Naruto because that is a very classic brother to brother uh, moment in Naruto history. The, the actual forehead touch instead of the finger. Um, and Zeke activated the power. Now, what is that? What is going to happen now? I, I, I'm pretty sure this this coordinate uh, realm, uh, the time is probably different, you know, and they even said it where years can go by in here where an instant can go by in the real world. So I'm pretty sure we what we're about to see. Here's my theory. Um, in the real world, time will continue. It has been paused. The, re the real world has been paused for however many years it took Aaron to get resurrected in this uh, in this coordinate world. OK, and now it's about to resume. Um, it's going to resume with Zeke pretty much completing his plan. And then it's like going to be confusion because the plan has already succeeded. Now what? You know, and where, where is Zeke going to put Aaron? Because right now Zeke has all the control. If he's the royal, he, if he has the royal blood, he has all the founding Titans power. He's in control. So it's really up to what kind of world that Zeke wants at the very moment. Okay. And, um, yeah, so we're all just at 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 the mercy of Zeke pretty much you know what I mean where uh it looks like Zeke was actually the real antagonist after all you know what I'm saying where we where it for a second just for a split second we thought he was maybe one of the good guys with this euthanasia plan possibly very little very little possibly but now no he's definitely the antagonist and um <sighs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I uh, and uh, sorry for the long intro. You could skip it anyway, but I need I need to do this. I do these long intros for you guys, but also for myself because I need to remind myself what happened last episode and hopefully spark up some new ideas just by literally talking to the universe. You know, that because it just happens like that. You know what I'm saying? But I believe I believe we're all caught up. We're all up to speed. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Attack on Titan, final season, season four, part two, episode four. Make sure I like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Also, if you want to catch the full version of this reaction, make sure you look at the links down below and uh, join the Discord. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Hasn't Aaron already seen this shit though? Just accessing through the memories of being of having the Founding Titans power? Maybe not. Carla. That's her. That's his mom's name. I kind of forgot a little bit. That's cap. But that's cap. But that's cap. Um, Aaron already knows this, I feel like. You know, this isn't new news to him. He found that out once he saw the memories. It's gotta be acting here, right? Yeah, Aaron's fully aware that his dad was a piece of shit. He kind of was. He left his previous family to start a new one for his own, like, you know, his own fucked up goal. Oof. He couldn't go through with it that day. I see, they're showing us this. So he did have a bit of humanity. He didn't want to go back. You know, he loved his son and his wife. We can see that. Which is on I think it's making Zeke a little jealous. A little jealous. Oh no. It looks like we could tack on another mistake that Grisha made. Even though he did love Aaron, genuinely, and, and, his, and his wife probably. He uh, made the mistake of choosing favorites. When it comes to your your children. What the fuck? What is happening? Huh? Okay. God damn it. Dude, what they be doing this, bro? The founding titans powers have always... We found out early, well, in the third season, this shit transcends time and space. So Grisha, seeing Zeke there, 
It was a real fucking thing. Dude, this is gonna... This... It's gonna get... I already know it's gonna get so confusing. <laughs> God damn it. I'm all for it, though. I love to be confused. Oh shit. That was a badass one line. Kill I'll kill you before you kill me. So basically he was saying he he was born a savage. <laughs> oh shit. So was Levi. Is Levi alive? Gosh. So many questions. The basement, the key, the book. That's when shit got crazy. That's when shit got real. When that episode happened, love that episode. Season three, that day. Zeke's face looks so like fascinated and astounded at Aaron's past because he's probably comparing it to his and his was his was kind of lifeless. You know, because his parents were actually trying to brainwash his ass. Where Aaron's life was actually kind of filled with love and stuff. You know? I used that out. That's when he did it. That's when he stole the Founding Titan from Frida. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, now we're seeing it in real time. The first king's curse. That's it, there it is right there. That little purple hue in the eye. Shit. So the first king was pretty much a pussy, right? <laughs> he, he can find all of his people. He was trying to protect them, to be fair. No, I can't call him a pussy. He he wanted peace and he wanted to protect his people. So I can't blame him for that. You know, so he made the necessary decisions. But uh in the long run it definitely did not help them at all. Because then they were confined into this prison where they didn't know the rest of the world. I mean for the longest time we thought the the world was was only that inside the walls. Oh shit. What is up with Aaron's look? He looks so serious and pissed. Yo, Aaron looks fucking pissed. Aaron looks pissed and Zeke still looks surprised at everything. <笑>に導かれた。進撃の巨人は未来の継承者の記憶をも覗き見ることができる。Okay。未来を知ることが可能なのだ。Oh。Oh。未来。What?。Aaron What? Wait. Huh? They didn't say anything about this. It was all a sham. What you put? Bro, we were lied to. What is this? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 
トウさんが始めた物語だろう Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, Aaron, future Aaron was the one that egged him on? What is going on, man? <laughs> I'm trying not to get confused, but it's really hard. I love this anime. <laughs> Have I said that yet? Oh my god. <laughs> What? Wait, what the fuck? So Aaron was commanding his own father from the fucking future. That's wild. <sighs> And that's probably why Grisha showed no remorse turning kid Aaron into a titan. Because it seemed like he just did it without, you know, telling him anything. Because he knew he was already following Aaron's orders from the future. <sighs> this is real, t this is real time, bro. This is real time. This shit's fucking crazy. This is happening real time! He's physically touching him. How? <laughs> this is so good. What's next? I'm on my on the I'm on the edge. Wait. What? What? Yo, what is happening? They're making Aaron look like a. Dare I say it? They're making him look like a villain. This anime. So j just just so you guys are up to speed. My top. My top two. Has always been Attack on Titan and Death Note. Okay. Now, I really. I feel it's unfair to put Attack on Titan at number one because it's not done yet. So for now, Death Note will still be number one. At least the first 26 episodes until something happens. And we all know what that was. Okay? It was just the best. It was the best episodes of anime I've ever watched. The first 26 episodes. Insane. All right? No fighting, too. It was just straight up detective stuff. So, yeah. But at the rate this is going, if, each, if the episodes from now on just keep blowing my mind on some time travel, space, portal, fucking transcending type shit, then definitely Attack on Time will take the number one spot. You know, I really want to put it there, but I feel like it's unfair because it's not done yet. But it, dude, if it keeps doing this shit, It's gonna get there easy peasy. What the hell did we just watch? Literally at the beginning of the episode, what in the intro, I, I legitimately said the protagonist is Aaron and the antagonist is, is Zeke. So why do I feel like now at the end of the episode that has ne those roles have now been switched and Aaron is now the villain? Huh? How did that happen? How did they do that? <laughs> Great job. Okay, so, so far, the pacing seems fine. It is a bit confusing, but I feel like it has to be a little confusing, um, you know, for, for shocking sake, okay? And it's at the end of the episodes, like, the, like this outro I'm about to do, uh, where we try to figure it out. So, let's see. They went back to the memories. Little do they know what they were doing going back into the memories. Um, it looks like the one... It looks like um, Grisha was able to interact with them through the memories when they were going back. Zeke was not aware of this because he never experienced what happened in season three. In season three, we got glimpses of, of Aaron interacting with future and past versions of himself. Not, well, not future, but past versions of himself, right? Like that Kruger guy. Aaron was saying the same things that Kruger guy was saying because he was just connected through him. 
passively. All right. And I don't know what Aaron has been doing this whole time, but uh, I feel like maybe he's been honing that power without telling anyone. Because how do you tell someone that you can interact with past versions of yourself? You know what I'm saying? Without sounding crazy. Um, so he was doing that. And uh, I guess Zeke now only experiencing the, ro the, the royal power, the founding titan's power once. He is actually the noob here. I didn't realize that. Okay, I just, I just, I just expected in the however many years he was inside of the coordinate realm that he somehow, like, I don't know, got more powerful than Aaron. But I totally forgot that Aaron has already done this shit. He's already experienced the, uh, the, the Founding Titan's power through Historia. We already have Royal Blood on the other side, you know? So, so because of that, Aaron kind of already knew what the fuck was going on. And I guess he was acting. He's, is, was he always acting? I guess so. I can't believe... Oh, we found out a very important fact. The Attack Titan can see the future. I did not know that. I thought it was already assumed. I thought it was already like the Founding Titan can, can see the past and the future. But it seems like only the Attack Titan can. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I just assumed that was the case. So only Aaron was... Only Aaron knows what's about to happen next, basically. <laughs> All of his actions and, and what he says, what he does, who he interacts with right now, he's doing it for a reason to either not get to the future he wants or to get to the future that he wants or that he sees. He already knows the end of the anime. Don't spoil it, Aaron. Okay? Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> All right? Um... Oh, I can't, dude, I can't believe in that flashback when Grisha was talking with Frida and the, 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 the race family, he didn't want to do it. And the one that egged him on to turn into the attack titan was Aaron from the fucking future. So it's Zeke's fault because he's the one that brought Aaron to that moment. <laughs> Zeke had no idea. Dude, I feel like Aaron is just... Uh, Aaron's pulling the strings now. When oh, I, As soon as I think Zeke outplays Aaron Aaron just is like nope I'm our, dude I've, I've already thought ahead I've already seen the future I know what's gonna happen he's the one that egged Zeke on to take the founding titans powers so Gr Grisha wasn't even gonna do it in the first place he just he already conceded because he still had humanity in him if anything Aaron was the one that took that humanity away from Grisha <sighs> what the fuck or at least the little, the little ounce he had left you know Jesus. Okay. Well, is Aaron the villain? The the way they were they were animating Aaron, like they were adding every still they had Aaron in this anime or sorry, in this episode, his eye, his like face, they added more shadows <laughs> to make him seem more devilish, you know? And the ending scene, he was he straight up looked like a freaking villain standing above Zeke like I am your fucking I'm your daddy, you know? What the hell is going to happen next? I love this fucking anime, dude. I love how it's breaking, you know, like just the limits. It doesn't care. It transcends time and space and it's confusing and it's great. It makes me it makes me want to think. And I don't know who the who the villain is <laughs> right now. It's Aaron straight up. He is he 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 damn near uh, caused the death of all those kids. He, he's the one that made Grisha turn, turn into the Attack Titan and take the Founding Titan's power. That was him commanding his dad from the future. What the hell? Holy shit. All right, well. That's about it, man. That's about all that was happening that episode. It began with Zeke in control. It ended with, with Aaron actually being in control the whole time. Wow. Amazing. Okay, well, we gotta wait till next week. Fuck, we gotta wait till next week, bro. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> but it's all worth it. Honestly, the anticipation for these types of episodes is what I live for, you know? Um, and and j just for a little side fact, I, I am caught up in Boruto. However, I stopped watching it until the manga can because, you know, wh wh when, you, when you watch an anime weekly... The anticipation is, 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 you know, you're like, oh, I can't wait for the Boruto episodes. Yeah, not worth 
you know basically only the manga canon was was only worth watching on a weekly basis i cannot be bothered watching some trash episode week after week for boruto okay but this shit this shit well fucking worth it i will I, i'll wait another two weeks for the next episode this one was insane to be fair i only wait a week though <laughs> but uh, anyway that was fire there's not much more i can say i'm sure you guys are enjoying this shit as well um and of course please keep the spoilers out you manga readers i understand you're excited i i i get why you're excited this shit's blowing my mind as we speak but keep it out of the comments because i read the comments okay i have to read the comments because that you know they're they're my comments and sometimes there's some good feedback in there you know some some good things for me to read in there so keep the spoilers out okay just say hey nice vid or something like that or just say some some, some cheeky shit i don't know um, but yeah, just, just, just keep the spoilers to a minimum guys, please, please, please. And, um, yeah, wait for next week. If you guys want to catch the full version of this reaction, you can find it down below. If you become a patron member, just like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm also like ahead. Oh, actually, no, I'm not ahead because these are weekly. Um, but yeah, uh, catch the full version. And of course you can also find the discord link down below as well and join the discord and talk that shit, especially, especially about this episode. God damn was it insane. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I guess I'll see y'all next week for the next episode of Attack on Titan. The final season, season four, part two, episode five next week. Is Aaron the villain? Find out.